You know what I find? It's like so fish. It's like when you're a girl and you're like saying like, oh my God, I just got my roots done. My head hurts. <laughs> Ow. I'm Tony Medina and I'm Hollywood's go-to boy for retro glamour. Today, one of my friends is coming over and I'm gonna give their hair his vintage touch. What do you have in mind for today? Do you have a specific look in mind that maybe you'd like me to do for you? I'm going on tour. Okay. And I was thinking of going, kind of like going back to- Traditional Valentina. traditional, elegant Valentina, like the low bun. You know, when I, I had my that. debut performance. That was performance. the second wig I did for you yes. ever, I think. I wore that wig so many times. And even yes, for, for Drag Race, when I won in the bridal challenge, I was wearing that oh, that's wig. That's true. When yeah. I performed Asi Fue, and I had my debut yes. at, at, at Showgirls. I wore that wig. Perfect. Nice. So we're gonna give you the traditional yeah. Valentina bun, but in a new color. Hey. It's funny, like when I met you, I thought you were the most polished thing I've ever seen. Then I got to know you. Tony, <laughs> don't make me start talking about what your favorite snacks are. <laughs> Leave hot Cheetos out of this. Mm -hmm. Hot Cheetos and cream cheese. So what I did, was I grabbed a piece of, you know, the ponytail, and I wrapped it around to mask the, um, the hairband that's holding your bun back here. And you'll see I'm constantly grabbing my hairspray and really smoothing it out, making it look as nice as possible. Tony is like such a perfectionist when it comes to like the overall 360 view of the hair. People see you from normal angles. It's not just a photo shoot where they're just gonna kind of look at you head on. And so I feel like it's kind of your duty as an entertainer of that level to give it to them. When it comes to vintage glamour, I always feel like I have a Latina aesthetic. I like a middle part. I like brunettes. I like a lot of color 27s and a honey blonde, very like Rita Hayworth and Gilda, like <laughs> me. Mm -hmm, I live mm -hmm. for that. And I love like Latina highlights just fresh out the salon. Yes. I fucking love highlights. <laughs> I'll throw them on and be, ay, ay. <laughs> you know, and I feel it. I feel it. Tony and I are really into, or, or all, our, all our friends. Really, our whole circle of friends. Our circle of friends will like have a kickback and we'll all like hang out. And we watch Miss Continental. And we watch Miss Continental. We watch Plus. Miss Continental Plus, we yes. We watched 1998, mm -hmm. all the way down to 2017 so far. So something I'm doing right now for her bun, because I want it to be larger than life, I want it to be able to be visible from all sides, is I'm teasing all of the hair back here, giving it some depth and some volume, and then I'm gonna smooth out the surface. Like, I'm glam, but I would not rank high in a pageant based on off of all those rules that they're, they're working off of. Mm -hmm. It's a whole nother world. It's a high level of glam. Mm -hmm. There's not a hair out of place. Mm -hmm. There is glitter on that eyelid. There is like six stacked lashes on the on the top and three, three on the bottom, you know? Absolutely. Can you kind of feel the depth that's happening back here? Yeah, it's, it's totally different when you're working with, you know, the broadness of my huge man's shoulders, uh -huh, you know? I love it. You know, a lot of drag um, stylists, they don't have the luxury of being able to style actually on, you know, the client. But it's true. luckily we're close friends. The first wig I ever did for you was the very first RuPaul's DragCon. Mm -hmm. Was it a red wig or? It was a, it was a it's kind of 27. It was 27 honey blonde, just a classic, Wave, yeah. wave, yeah. Um, nice and fluffed out, like hair sprayed the house down. And that was kind of the start of it all. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing is I'm now I'm grabbing all the teasing and I'm starting to kind of create that really beautiful moon shape. Not a full round one, but kind of a half bun. And it may not look like a shape right now, but once we start smoothing it out, it's gonna look like a shape. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of lightly smoothing out all of the hair and I'm not brushing through the bun, I'm just kind of staying on top of it and just smoothing out all the hair on top of it so that I can roll it in and make the bun appear to be very, very clean. Let's talk about the um, hair raising runway. <laughs> that was a big ass wig. That was six wigs. Mm -hmm. I used zip ties to hold them together because they were so heavy that I was afraid if I sewed them together, they were gonna rip. So what I wanna do is now that I have the shape that I really, really love, is I wanna add some hairspray. Sometimes with the teasing, it takes a little sheen off of the hair. The net totally brings that back. Now I really, really, really wanna spray you down really well. 
So I'm gonna actually grab this towel, cover your shoulders. I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna just soak it. Did you ever have a super soaker? No, I had Barbies. I would play with Barbies in my cousin's closet. Aww. I was literally in the closet playing with Barbies. <laughs> 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 so these are from Spain, and it's a bayoneta. It and looks vintage. Yeah, it is vintage. Mm -hmm. It's actually two of them. I got one before, it's a little shorter, and then it wasn't drag enough, so I got a bigger one. And then I asked one of my friends if he could add in some some flowers with crystals. Beautiful. Did Yulaysia do that? Yeah, Yulaysia Couture Pandarvis. I love it. It goes with like this whole like Latina look that I wear for work the world. My look on that tour, it's wearing this dress that has like a flamenco influence. And even though I'm referencing like like Spanish culture, like I feel like there's so much Spanish culture that's injected into like Mexican aesthetic, you know? Yeah, totally. Okay, hope you love it. <gasps> yes! Oh my God, I love that you can still see the bun from the front. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important, I think, with someone who's performing on stage that you can see it from all angles. You could give all the over-the-shoulder looks. It covers the weird funkiness of my ears. And it's really nice and stiff. This is gonna travel so well. And you can't even tell that there's a net on it. I love it. Yes! Thank okay. you, boo. I love you, boo. Thank you so much for coming. I love you. Mwah. Love you more. Vintage catch.